check this out. For just 20 bucks, I took an old backpack and turned it into a perfectly good disc golf cart that's very reliable for me, you know, up and down the course with ease. And you can too. We're gonna do this all for under 100 bucks because we don't wanna spend a whole lot of money. In fact, if you're like me, one time you probably looked up Zuka disc golf cart and you were like, that's too expensive. I do not wanna pay that much. So then you probably jumped on Facebook Marketplace and you typed in used Zuka disc golf cart. And it was still too much, right? Or maybe there weren't any. And so then you just type in Zuka and hopefully they have a different type of bag or a different type of cart or something that would get you maybe a base to make your own disc golf cart with. And for 20 bucks, I found this dad who said his little girl no longer needed this backpack. And it was a Zuka kind of ice skating slash backpack, like little roller wheels that are on suitcases. That's kind of what this came with. And so I said, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna make it better. And that's exactly what I did. So I'm gonna show you everything that you need to put on this cart that I have. And I did it for under a hundred bucks and you can too. So let's bring you in close and get into it. All right, the first thing I wanna do is talk a little bit about the frame of this disc golf cart. Uh, the first thing I did when I got home is realize that I did not like how ugly green it was. And so I painted it bright red. As a Nebraska fan, this had to be red. The next thing that I did was where that N is on the side, that's just quarter inch plywood that I took with a jigsaw and cut out kind of the curve of the of the front top there. And that sort of is the base behind everything attached to uh, the cart. The next thing that I did is it needed new tires. And I decided that the ice skating tires that it came with were way too small. And so these tires that you currently see are actually not the first tires that I used. However, I would absolutely use the ones that are in the picture right now, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, I tried actually at first to use uh, little kid bike wheels that I got for $10 to buy a little kid's bike for 10 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace. And I tried to fix those onto the sides and also there wasn't an axle that went all the way through. It was kind of one side attached on the left, one side attached on the right for each bike wheel. It just didn't work out very well. But when I put those bike wheels on, it didn't stand up very well. I had to put this new piece here in the front on. That's just some angle iron, a one foot piece I cut in half. And then again, I had some scrap wood laying around that I put on the bottom there. I did use treated wood. I had some leftover treated wood that I put on the bottom just because that makes the most contact with the Ground, and I didn't want it to rot or get nasty. All right, next you can see right below the N is a cup holder, and there's also one on the other side. This holds up to a 20 ounce uh, bottle of Gatorade. And for this, I just use a three inch PVC pipe that I kind of cut out for the top there, as well as on the bottom, it was a, kind of a cap end for that PVC. Hey guys, if you found this video helpful at all so far, go ahead and hit that like button down below. That way this video can spread to more people and we might even see more custom made disc golf carts out there on the course, just like yours. All right, turn this around a little bit. You can see there's a handle that I actually salvaged from that little kid's bike that I used. And I just used a big long bolt to kind of go through the end there. And then what you see is the shaft of my handle is actually just a C channel made out of aluminum. The way that I attach this is with wing nuts as well as bolts that I used on the other side. Now, one mistake that I made is use half inch everything. I started kind of mixing up a little bit, but if you just use half inch for everything, it's gonna be a whole lot easier. You're gonna save yourself a couple trips to the store by getting the wrong pieces at times. Another mistake that I made with my disc golf cart is the putter pouch. At first, I tried to put it up way too high and that made the center of gravity way too high and it was very prone to kind of tip over. And so what I did instead is I brought it down a little bit lower. All right, flipping it around to the inside now. This is the part that you guys probably want to see. And this holds 30 discs on the inside, as well as the six putters that I have in the back for the putter pouch for a total of 36 discs. Now, I do not use all of those out on the course. In fact, I mainly only use this bottom row when I play and have uh, a few drivers, a few mids, and a few fairway drivers. And of course, my putter pouch still in the back. But I do like to go out to the field and practice every once in a while. And so that's where this top row comes in handy. So let me take these out for you. And again, if I zoom in on this, what you will be able to see is the dowels that, that top row sits on. It's kind of a little bit farther um, in from where that bottom row is, but it sit very nicely there on that top row. And again, I can fit about 15 up there on either side. Another thing that I just had kind of laying around was this piece of foam in the back and it cushions the disc from the back piece of metal. All right, if I take out the bottom row of disc now, you can see a couple things. First off, you can see some more foam in here. I have some foam in the front that cushions the disc and also makes a little bit of a ledge so the discs don't come out, as well as some foam in the bottom that again helps cushion it from the metal bottom of the cart. Also, just recently I added these two sides with some cardboard. There's a little bit of a lip right here. And so those cardboard just helps the disc slide in a little bit better on either side. Okay, last thing I promised to show you was how to attach the wheels to this disc golf cart. And in fact, if you look in the description of this video right now, you'll see that these wheels 
wheels each are $17. So for a total of 34 for both, I think that's a pretty good deal to get wheels that run pretty smoothly. When it comes to attaching those, I actually made a whole separate video you can find right here. So go guys and check that video out. And on your way out, go ahead and also hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys out there on the course.